Yo, what's up? We are now at Extra Neskollen, and behind me here we have the Mer Charger. And you guys know the drill. I did this 90% to 10% test with uh, the Model 3. Well, it was the Model 3 Performance, the old and the new one. And this one is the standard, I mean, it's a, it's a non-performance, it's a long range. And this car has slightly different battery than the, the newest performance. The, the performance had a Panasonic battery, this one has the LG battery. And the difference is that the, this LG battery has better properties once it cools down. Basically, it has more power output. Well, it, the, the values are not correct now, but we're gonna see now. We're gonna launch it from, we do 90% launch, 80%, 70%, and whatever, and we we'll see how fast it goes compared to the, the, the two performance cars. So um, what's gonna happen is that once we finish charging, at 91% or 19.5%, the battery will slowly cool down. The, bat the, the car will scavenge heat from the battery. And then once the battery is low, it will also be kind of cold, but we should hopefully see that this battery will outperform the performance car. <laughs> this is a test I've been waiting for, for a long time. So now we just have to wait a couple of more minutes and then we are good to go. Launch number one. Launch number two. Launch number three. Launch number four. Launch number five. Launch number six. Right, we're getting close to launch number seven now and the problem today is that it is not that cold you see here only minus seven so as a compensation well no, okay, okay and the, the other problem is that the battery is not as cold as the, the performance uh, battery was that one was at uh, only 8.5 degrees so as a compensation we go lower on state of charge but you see that we still have about 250 kilowatt power limit so we're gonna see now do the launch it's past 11 so very quiet on the road let me see, let me get ready around here-ish. Yeah, I see the skid marks here, okay. All right, complete stop. Launch number seven. Wow, still quick. Launch number eight. Okay, we are now ready for the final launch. You see here that the battery temperature is almost the same as the one, the performance with heat pump. And then we are right at 10 degrees, 10%, so very close. Here, this one, you have to actually add about 20, 30%. So we have about uh, 150 kilowatt remaining. So uh, yeah, we will see. I think based on this, my guess is that we will have about 6.5 seconds zero to 100 launch time okay here we go final launch coming up okay 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 here launch number nine
All right, we are now heading back home and uh, we will just stop and top up at Circle K Balge, the same place we stopped with the performance. Uh, and you see, uh, the car estimates 5% at arrival. And if you look here, we are down to 7.4% right now. So this will be interesting because even at this point, we still have 100, yeah, it's, it's around 120, 130 kilowatt power limit. So hopefully there won't be any limp mode. So this is, I guess, part of the test to see what happens once we get up that last hill. All right, this is it. This is the uphill that the performance started limping, but here, no problem. Still, okay, it start dropping here though. Oh, it start dropping, but it's still plenty. You see, I can maintain 90 kilometers per hour. I can even go faster. You see there? Huh? I can go 100, no problem. I have plenty of power here. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Let's go uh, charge over here at uh, Baige. Just want to top up. Don't want to YOLO it. All right, we are now at the Grungotok charger, the same one we charged at with the performance. And we came here with 5%. I just want to make sure we can make it back to Oslo. But I want to show you something interesting. Well, or maybe some of you guys know it already, but you see here, this one here is the, I call it the afterburners. The, the motors are running. They're pulling six kilowatt combined to heat up the battery. So you see that the, the battery inlet now rises. It wants to heat up the battery, but we only need to charge it for five minutes. So actually we don't care about heating up the battery. And if we were at the high power charger right now, we would probably get 100 kilowatt anyway. Actually, we would get 150 or something. So uh, in a way, it's almost waste of energy to heat up the battery. But because this car has heat scavenging, then it's no big deal. Because what's going to happen now is that once we start driving, it will scavenge heat from the battery and the, the consumption will be ultra low. So it's no big deal. But with the old car without heat pump, then this is basically waste of energy. Okay, we are back and now let's take a look at the result. I put this uh, Google uh, sheet in the same folder I have all the, all the, all the other results. You can also take a look at it. Uh, it is in the description below. And uh, you see that uh, here we have the long range. It is actually slower than the performance uh, because uh, simply because you know it, it's, it doesn't have the same power. You can see also down here that the power output for the performance is higher throughout the whole scale until 40%. That's when stuff starts happening and then the long range is almost faster than performance. You can also see in the on the power output here. But uh, I did, uh, you know, I, I noticed that the temperature and the pack, you can see it here, that it was higher simply because it wasn't that cold that day versus when I did it with the performance. It was really cold. It was minus 19, minus 18 versus minus 6 or minus 7. And that's why the battery was actually warmer for a longer time. But I think it doesn't matter too much here because simply because we have a different type of battery. This is the LG battery versus the Panasonic battery. And you also see that uh, also for, for the long range, the, the, the acceleration is very consistent. Yeah, um, I think the reason why it drops here is probably because of the slightly lower voltage. And then, but then stuff happens here at 30%. And I also did things to try to compensate for it because I, I realized already at 40% that, hey, the battery was being too hot. So I purposely ran the heater on the long range on full blast and then cracked open the window to get rid of the heat because then I saw that the car would start scavenge the heat from the battery way faster. So I, I spent another half an hour extra just to run the battery low. And that's why you see that we suddenly have only 12 degrees. It was a pretty big jump here. And also as another compensation was that I also started launching with a little bit below 40%. I think I also did that with the 30 and the 20% mark to compensate for that. The battery was slightly warmer than the, the performance. So they, these results, at least at 40%, that's where it gets interesting, should be comparable. What happens at 50 and higher is whatever. I don't think it matters too much. But um, you see there <laughs> that at 30%, the, the long range is faster than the performance. <laughs> and <laughs> it becomes even more, uh, uh, I mean, the, the, the gain or the difference is even bigger at 20% and at 10%. And if you remember, I did try to heat up the performance battery to about 25 degrees. And then I also did another launch. And still, it was still at 
only seven seconds. So, but I think uh, if Tesla fixes this by not scavenging the battery lower than 40% or something like that, uh, then the performance will probably f perform way better and will probably be faster in the long range. Uh, but I think at 10% it will still be slower than the long range. But I guess performance owner can live with that uh, as, long, as long as most of the time it is faster in the long range. But right now um, they're probably not too happy about it. But I think that the main problem is not, not the 0 to 100 time for the performance owner. It's the going down below 10% and it gets into that limp mode. That one is what Norwegians don't like with the performance. So uh, I think Tesla should fix this regardless. Uh, you know, just the tip about you know, not scavenging it and that will be fine. Uh, so yeah, interesting to see how it was. So um, I think I'm done with the test now. <laughs> it's, it's pretty fun to test this, but uh, yeah, I don't know what you guys think, but I, I found it very amusing. Yeah. <laughs> so. I guess that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.